Hello chaps! This is Cybernethy and welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 1. The beginning of a game franchise that I loved growing up. Now funny thing is, I didn't grow up with Heroes of Might and Magic 1 until like decade like a decade and a half later. I grew up with the the sequel, Heroes of Might and Magic 2. But this is the original game. The first one in the series of seven, I believe. Seven or eight, something like that. And yeah, this is the DOSBox version. Or the Windows 95 version, I can't remember. But this is from 1995, it's an old game. And we are just going to start with a new game. Just want to show you what it is. You have four difficulty settings. I'm gonna go with easy since I, w I never was good at the game. Claw. Easy. Around the bay. How about we go with claw? Choose color. I will be. I will be blue. Customize opponents. Dumb. 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 Trust me, I'm not that good. I haven't played this game in yonks. So I'm a little bit rusty at it. I was always rusty. I never was good. But I just want to show you what this game is about. It's one of my childhood favorites. And I'm speaking from the next game of the series. Okay, so we start out, and, and there's a bunch of things around us. Let's go into our castle. We started out as a warlock. Okay. Not the ideal startup for this map, but I'll take it. We have a bunch of buildings that we can build. Let's start with... Eh, I don't know. How about the... The maze, since we can avoid it. Haha! <laughs> we already have minotaurs at our disposal. Turn one. And because we have a well here... We already have the advantage of, of uh, increased creature growth. We need all the gold we can get. We also want a second hero because he will actually... Okay, maybe not. Hmm... What should we go with? Someone who can brute force everything? Actually, let's go for someone who can brute force everything. Let's recruit a Barbarian. I've been told that a general rule of thumb, you want two heroes on the map at all times, at least. One mainly for battle and one for mainly scouting. And collecting resources. This is an obelisk. What you do is that if you visit a bunch of them, it will slowly reveal the map to the ultimate artifact. An ancient relic of great power. Basically, it gives you a really huge, hugely powerful item. And I'm going to save my game like an idiot because I love saving. Before you appear as a levitating glass case with a scroll, perch upon a bed of crimson velvet. At your touch, the lid opens and the scroll floats into your awaiting hands. Every artifact that you find in this game has a story to tell. Now, gotta be careful about who we, um... Oh, of course. Nearly all of them would be ranged opponents. Sprites. Let's see what's over here. Let's, show, let's visit the... Art the, uh... Obelisk. There aren't that many, which is why there are so many pieces being revealed at one time. Now, since it's turn two, we can build another structure. Let's build the nest. Actually, yeah, let's build the nest since we can. And then next time we'll build the Mage's Guild. The Mage's Guild is where you go to learn spells. It should also be noted that there are wandering monsters around the map, troops of them, and they can be very dangerous if you're not prepared to deal with them. 
I have played this game for a little bit, so I understand basically how the game works. Oh, we could build a swamp early on. Just that we need more gold. But before we do that, let's build a major skill. So that we actually can learn spells. Okay, we have Curse, we have Bless, and we have View Minds. These two are going to be particularly helpful. Now, what makes this game different from the second one is that the second one goes by use of mana. This one, the spells actually go by a number of charges. Another obelisk. Uh, okay, we can't progress any further without fighting something. So we want to be very careful. I think... The best way to go at this point would probably... Would be to start taking out the dwarves. There's a pack of them here, let's go after them first. I sure hope that the game volume isn't too loud because... That is a concern of mine, because the game is quite um, ambionic. Pack of dwarves, let's test our metal against them. Oh wow, there's a bunch of them. Um, let's see. I'm going to cast Bless on the centaurs. And we don't need to fight them yet, their speed is slow, it will take them a while to get here. Skip. Want to whittle them down first before we actually start fighting them. Melee. And as you can see, I took one out, but there's a bunch more waiting for us. Let's send the Minotaurs down here. The thing about flying creatures is that they can go anywhere on the map when it's their turn. Their speed only matters in turn order. I think we can take these out, it's just going to take some strategy. Now dwarves have the innate ability to resist spells, so don't cast curse on them, instead cast bless on the minotaurs. I'm going to skip these two, actually we're going to use the centaurs. Attack, let's see, attack the one, there we go. So there's not as many of them to deal damage. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Now the dwarves move so slowly and the grid is very narrow and limited in this game. So there's not a whole lot of room for a lot of troops to move around, which is good. So now at this point we want to start attacking these guys. Get rid of this guy. And we'll use the Minotaurs to attack this one. Now, positioning is very important. I'm going to block the dwarves off from the gargoyles since they're the least. Other than the centaurs, they have the least amount of hit points of the creatures that we have. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Now you also want to watch your uh, minotaurs because they are powerful, but they do die eventually if they take enough damage. Uh. This timing business is very important. With the exception of a few creatures, only... Okay, I think I may have made a mistake. Oh, well, at least the dwarves won't be able to reach me. So, let's just, uh... We're gonna maneuver back here. Yeah. No, not too bad, actually. Okay, I'll take that. I'm just gonna move them here. Shoot with the centaurs, and then... There we go! Flawless victory! Ha! <laughs> Dee 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 dee.
Oh, the music had to cut up right then. That was such a beautiful song. All right. Well, we won our first battle, and without taking any casualties. We need the gold first. Okay, um... We have not gained a level, so let's go back to the castle and regain our spell points and visit the fairy ring while, while we're at it. This fairy ring gives us luck. And luck plays a role in the game as well. Now let's see... Can't build much over here since we don't have any gems, but we can build the swamp probably next turn. Maybe. Depends on how much income we get from the castle that we run. Okay, not quite. Next turn, perhaps. What does this house mean? Is it, do, can we recruit peasants? I'm gonna go up there and check. Yes, we can recruit peasants! Now these guys aren't very strong, but it's the best we've got for now, so they will make do. Now, what time, what day of the week is it? It's five, so next week we'll recruit some more soldiers, and then go and face that other pack of dwarves right there. So I'm going to have him return to the castle, have him visit the fairy ring, And so far, no sign of our enemies. They're all the way up in this area right here. The griffins are protecting us right now. Ironically, since if we go over there, we will have to fight them at some point. Alright. So, we can actually get the swamp. The swamp is good because it gives us very powerful creatures. Ah, we can't get any right now. Okay, do... Okay, good. Once you visit the town center or the castle, your spell book is automatically regenerated, regardless of whether or not you stay for the rest of the turn, which is kind of something you have to do in Heroes of Magic 2. Okay. So, I'm feeling plucky. I think we should go after the... Wait a minute. Not with these creatures. With these ones instead. Let's attack the sprites. Hello! Well, it looks like they joined us. We didn't have to fight them at all. Some creatures will join your army. Just because you have a powerful army. Which I like. Okay, so this guy cannot... We can't even afford a spell book kit. That's how broke we are. So, what we're going to do instead is have him guard the castle. Um, yes, gold, please. Yes, spell power. And we gained control of a gem mine, which is good. Alright, I'll have him come over and visit the gazebo as well, because he could use some leveling up too. Now we can recruit more creatures. Now the black tower is going to take some doing. It's highly expensive. Because dragons are the most powerful creatures in the game, apparently. So if we can hold out until that point, we'll be, we'll be good to go. Okay, Thundax gained a skill. Attack, plus one. One second. Welcome back, chaps. Sorry, my dad just walked in. I didn't know what he was doing. So... Let's see, what could we recruit today? Actually, I'm going to keep this to one army. One type of creatures. So, we can't build anything, which would make it an excellent time to start recruiting more creatures. More minotaurs, more magic, more stuff! Now, we can't immediately recruit all our creatures at this point, so it's necessary to expand our reach. You shall have the Hydras up to protect the Centaurs, 
The Minotaurs will be at the center, and these two will be reasonably close to the edge. You want to have your flying creatures at the edge and your ranged creatures at the edge of the battlefield. Nice thing is we can just go back to the windmill now and collect more resources. Ah, guess who made an appearance? I can't quite see him or her yet because... Well, someone's busted through to the griffins. Or maybe they haven't. Maybe they there were no griffins to fight for them. And they just went through uncontested. Alright, we have four hydras. So, actually, what I'm thinking of doing... Taking a Hydra, put the Griffins back to protect the castle. So anyone who wants to join us along the way can do so. Unfortunately, we have archers to deal with, but that's no biggie. We can regenerate. We can have more creatures soon. Okay, these creatures are in a mood for a fight. So what I'm gonna do again, as is necessary, is cast Bless on the Centaurs. These are the only ranged attackers that we have, so we must... so they're valuable for that reason. <laughs> Hydras have a special attack. They attack all enemies that are adjacent to the Hydra at once. And they cannot, enemies cannot retaliate to the Hydra. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna whittle down the bigger numbers into smaller numbers so that they deal less damage. You do not want to get comboed by these guys, because you can only retaliate once, with the exception of the Griffin. Which is what we have. Griffins can retaliate either twice or un an unlimited amount of times. We can attack them. Yeah. Oh, we got good luck. Watch. That increases their attack. Ha ha ha. Now, Hydras are good because they have a lot of hit points, therefore, they can take a lot of punishment. I'm gonna deal with this one down here. Let's actually, um, oh. That's something else I've noticed too. In Heroes of Might and Magic 1, the spell that's affecting the creature is displayed as an icon instead of this purple bar showing green. That's something they must have done later in the series. We're going to see, okay, we cannot. Uh. Let's move down here. Block him off at the, at the lower yeah. section. There we go. Ooh, extra morale. I can attack again. There we go. Ooh, wonder how much damage they'll do this time. 84, not bad. Listen to that music. I would have loved to play this game as a kid. Okay, Atlas is roaming around. He has lots of goblins, a pack of orcs, and a few wolves. The description of each stack, or each group of, of creatures, tells you how many there are, in a nutshell. Lots is like 20, 21 to, uh, I think 20 to 50. Pack means it's like anywhere between 20, 10 and 20, I think. And a few means it's less than 5, so we could take these guys on. We could easily take these guys on, but we have to go for the Griffins first, and that's what I'm worried about. There's a reason this is called a strategy game, folks. Okay, let's see what we have here. 
He's not going after the Griffins just yet. He knows he's not ready for them yet. Gold. We need it. Lots of it. Ooh, dispel magic. Some places give you um, free spells if you have a spell book to record them with. <clears throat> Fortunately, we do. And it gave us dispel magic, which is highly useful considering we'll be facing heroes. This is like our scouting hero. He's not going to be fighting many enemies. The more creatures we can hog for ourselves, the less the enemies will have if they decide to ransack this place. Which I don't think they will because they're not getting through the griffins anytime soon. We are already... V oh wow! Green just destroyed yellow. And... They did so with more or less the same strength of force as they did with the other guys. Is there a gold mine? No, but there's an ore mine thing. Um, I'm gonna go grab the griffins, actually. Um, Let's see... Should I chance it? We'll find out next turn. Not, whether or not we should chance it. Because these are ranged creatures, they don't need to move to you, they, they can attack you from where they are. There's no range penalty in, um, might, in Heroes of Might Magic 1, I believe. They only introduced that in Heroes of Might and Magic... 2? Or 3? One of the two. Okay, chaps, I'm going to wrap this up, and when we come back next time, we'll be exploring this more of this area, and perhaps push through the griffins and into the big world out there. I can see a Dragadoon out there, which is a neutral town guarded by some creatures, fairly strong. Alright, behave yourselves, I shall see you guys later. Bye! Greetings ladies and gents, I'm Cybernethy, and today I have returned to Minecraft and we're playing single player, uh, not single player. <laughs> and look, with me is Cab- c c carrot cake Cabbage Patch! <laughs> Cabbage29, say hello. Hi! Hi! <laughs>